Brown again for Junior Harris. Schiavo, tic tac real quick to Yakora, and now Dolman again. The former Danville Dasher goes behind the net. A sharp angle attempt along the goal line that Alistratov had to knock away. Now another one, they oh. score! Mike Dolman on the rebound, and it's 1 0 Danbury. You know, no sooner are we saying that the Titans are on their heels that they start playing better hockey. I'll tell you, it's been impressive. That was a, a great breakout, a lot of pressure, great puck movement. And this goaltender for Watertown is giving up some rebounds. And there was a nice, delicious Christmas morning rebound right out there, and they slammed it home. They're just kind of two tired punchers just marching around the ring. So your typical Floyd Mayweather fight. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, mercy! They score. Mercy. Off the face-off, it's swung around, and I believe it's Shane Hallis with the goal. And just halfway through the second period of play, the Watertown Wolves get on the board. We're tied at one. Well, I'll tell you, that's just what we were talking about. It was just a lazy pass out to the point on the right point. The guy rifled a shot at the net. It was a seeing eye shot. It found its way to the back of the net. Neener never had a chance. I think it was deflected three times and went through four guys. But again, put shots on the net and good things are gonna happen. That hurt, that hurt. With a minute to go, Kyle Powell, of course, will make me eat crow there as Powell a shot saved by Nieder. The rebound actually came loose and Scully was there to take it away. Powerful Waterbury, another Ontario native. Something in the water up there. This is Taylor Bourne. Tries to drop it for Jay who sends it down deep. Now Johnson with under a minute to go. Scully gives back to Bourne at the point. Across for Dalton J. Tyler Noseworthy with it. Ian J switch spots. J sends one towards the front shot, scores! Alex Johnson, a power oh, play goal. Baby. And it's two to one Danbury. Well, that reverse jinx might have worked. It took five power play opportunities. But the Titans regain the lead with under a minute to go in the period. There's still plenty of hockey to play, but I tell you, it's hard to bounce back from one of those late period goals exactly what we were talking about. And I think the announcer should get an assist on that because we did put the reverse announcer jinx on. Jinx on. Well, we'll await for the official assist, but for Alex Johnson, it's his seventh goal of the season. The first one that he's been able to tally on the power play. And it's an important goal as the Danbury Titans have some momentum going into the second intermission. 31 and a half to go. Let's see if the Wolves can respond quickly with the Danbury Titans holding the one shot advantage. Off the face off, Sabotnikov steps into one. Off the post, he scores! Taylor Bourne with the deflection in front, and it's three to one Danbury. Sabotnikov with the shot from the point, and Bourne with the deflection in front. Not sure if Bourne got a stick on it before or after he hit the post, as you heard the ping all the way up here in the rafters. But the Danbury Titans with an early goal in the third period, and now they lead it by two. Sabotnikov picks up the loose puck, and he's content just to flip it back out into a neutral zone. Knocked down by Graham, gives a long turn, Noseworthy. Tyler Noseworthy, a shot saved by Alistrotov. The rebound by Bourne was blocked. Another shot and another save by Alistrotov. They score! Tyler Noseworthy, and it's four to one. Tyler Noseworthy picking up the trash in front of the net. And he might have just put this game out of reach for the Watertown Wolves. For Noseworthy, it's only his second goal of the season, but it's an important one as it gives the Danbury Titans a three or a three goal lead. They say it's the most dangerous lead in hockey. So I, I wouldn't second guess him on that. 
on that timeout because if he was going to do anything, it was then with an offensive zone faceoff and a brand new uh, power play. But uh, it wasn't their night. Now listen, there's five minutes, 21 seconds left. Anything can happen. But if the if the Titans come out with a victory here, it's a, it's definitely a field goal. Oh, they crap. score. Might have been deflected in front by Jesse Fancini. The shot came from Kyle Powell. And just like that, the Watertown Wolves have brought it back within two. It's four to two. Well, smack me in the head. Just as we're ready to pack it up, put a bow on it and go home. They're right back in this thing. Pestering him was Graham Tatch, who eventually was able to send it back deep. Now Matt. That's Tech. what you gotta do. You gotta get it out of your zone. You just got to. Take a take an icing if you have to. On the K or on the bench now is oh, Alistradov. And the empty net goal by Tyler Nosworthy, his second of the game. It's five to two. I'll give credit to Phil Esposito for going for it here at the end of the third period, trailing by two. He pulls his goalie a little early, but a turnover right in front of the Watertown bench and Noseworthy has his second of the game. You were talking about him at the beginning and it looks like he's uh, come through for you in this game. Yeah, I, I'm impressed by that guy. I think pound for pound, he's the best hockey player that I'm looking at out there. He's, he's tenacious, he's throwing his body around. He's got, he's got a real good work ethic. He's got a good engine and he's got good skills. Bragging rights and everything else. But Danville has played a really good game. You know, I mean, uh, Danbury has. And it's interesting because I was in the locker room between periods and Dave won the Here's coach. Here's Yakura scores! Oh, there we go. Dean Yakura with the exclamation mark. It's six to two. What a shot by Yakura. As it was a. Katie, bar the door. They're coming in bunches now. Uh, the Danbury Titans finding the offense that wasn't here on Friday and Saturday for Yakora. It's his sixth goal of the season. He leads the team with 30 points overall. But, but no matter, as Taylor Bourne gives along to Noseworthy, a shot saved by Alice Shotoff at the buzzer. One final save at the end. But the Danbury Titans, six to two winners over the Watertown Wolves. And Marty. Again, if you're a Danbury Titans, you have to be happy with this game. You finish the weekend on a high note. Very good. Yeah, very happy. There was a bad taste in their mouth after those back-to-back -back losses. But they came out here. They played their game. Uh, they, they kept it close from two, in two periods. Uh, then that late goal at the end of the second period was a real backbreaker for the Watertown team. I'll tell you what, that one hurts, as Danbury Titans know all too well. And I'll tell you, they had a, a great game. This place, this arena was packed. Lots of families, lots of kids. Everyone's going home happy.